these little planes, but it's a big show. It's the seventh year for the Pearl Harbor's biggest little air show at the Pacific Aviation Museum. And joining us now with more information, we have Lori LaGrange. Good morning. Good morning. So this is exciting. Seven years mm -hmm. you've been doing this, and it's really, a, you have the goal of getting some kids excited about careers, yes. possibly in aviation. Yes. What do you hope to accomplish with this weekend's event? Well, this weekend is actually a very special event because we are honoring our Vietnam vets in recognition of the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. So in, in addition to, um, you know, letting kids touch, feel, take a look at these planes up close, we are actually um, allowing vets to come in for free, and we have a special tent for them. We also have Vietnam-era uh, war planes that will be on display. But it's not just for kids, it's for people of all ages. So we've got, um, in addition to the candy bombings, which is really popular, we have exhibits and, of course, the biggest um, the biggest thing that we do is bring in these uh, remote control pilots from all over the world to showcase their planes and, and do demos. And you have some mainland pilots actually yes. doing some of those performances. Yes. What can people expect when they're watching? Oh my goodness. Well, yesterday they were on hand and they were practicing, and there was this one jet that actually goes 200 miles per hour. And wow. he is going way up in the air, and they're doing these, you know, circular. Uh, um, acrobatics, and there was another gentleman with a helicopter from Las Vegas, and he was doing all these loop de loops and flying upside down. So it's just really amazing. I mean, if you have never seen it before, you really need to come out. And those that have come out, they continue to come out every year because it's just something that you've never seen before. And I absolutely love the story of the candy bomb. I'm sure you're going to oh, yeah. reenact that. That'll be great. Wonderful. And how can people join in today and tomorrow? So the biggest news is that you can drive onto Ford Island, um, which, is, which never happens. So you can drive directly onto the museum, park your car. It's $5 per person, $15 for a family up to six, and you can buy your tickets at the door. Um, and also tonight we are staying open late for the Nagaoka fireworks. Oh, that's so. going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. Us Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. So again, you can join in tonight and tomorrow, uh, the event 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes. And of course, the doors will be open for the event happening tonight. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank